I declare what you've lost being given back unto you. I declare what you lost being given unto you. I declare prayer restoration. I declare meditation restoration. Because something interfered with your mind. Something has cost you to forget. Something has cost you to forget. Something interfered with your mind. Something cost you to forget. And has interfered with your mind. You forget easily. Bring them. You forget easily. Bring them. Bring them. You forget easily. Bring them. You forget easily. Bring them. You forget easily. You forget easily. You forget easily. It has interfered with the mind. You just forget. This is a dangerous situation when someone forgets easily. You don't know when to pray. You don't know when to fast. You don't know when to read the Bible. You don't know when to do what is right. So they need help. Because if you forget easily, I'm going to read the Bible now. It's gone. Bring us home. I'm going to read the Bible now. It's gone. So you've lost your contact with God. You've lost your operation with God. You've lost your appointment with God. I'm going to pray now. You no longer communicate with Him. It's a dangerous moment when one has got such a mind. Do we love Jesus Christ? So it disturbs one's appointment with the Master. So I'm going to read the Bible now. I can't anymore. So at the same time, Bible is your enemy. So such a spirit makes the Bible your, your enemy. And yet the Bible is not your enemy. You have to learn. So I'm going to pray for all of you. For God to set you free from this spirit. Your mind has been interfered with. You forget easily. Some of you read the Bible, all of a sudden you are attacked by pains. You are attacked by sickness. You are attacked by sickness. Just bring them. You are attacked by pains. You are attacked by sickness. Bring her. Bring her. You try to read the Bible. You are attacked by pains. You are attacked by sickness. Bring this one here. You are attacked by pains. You are attacked by sickness. You try to read. Now it's as if the Bible is your enemy. It's as if now you have to be healthy when you're not reading the Bible. You get it? So the Apostle Paul says we're not unaware of the devil's schemes. <laughs> Spider webs. Get out! Spider webs. Spider webs. Leave it. Spider webs. Get out! The mighty name of Jesus. You go completely. The time is up. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You never trouble it anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You feel your mind stuck, ne? Your mind stuck. The issue of spider web, you don't know what to do. You're bound. Huh? Yes, Papa. You just don't know what to do. Huh? Yes. 
Don't worry. This is the day of your release. Huh? This is the day of your your release. You are released completely. Be released. Be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. separate you from her. She goes nowhere, she will leave. With this issue of spider web, she's found, that's what I'm saying, she doesn't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, you are. We go to it, but God will set her free. But I'm just thankful for this deliverance because God releases her. No? She doesn't deserve this. Still, a mistake that happened on the way, that doesn't mean God is not able to take you out of it. God will take you out. God will take you out. It's over. You go. You go. You go. Take everything out. And we pray for a finger ring as well. What? Why? You are destroying. You are destroying our things. What? Speak louder. A ring for what? No, I pray for a finger ring. Go away. So a mistake that you fell into. And you find yourself being entangled into that. You must understand the issue of spider web. Now, the word of God says the enemy is waiting like a roaring lion seeking to devour someone. The enemy. You get it, no? Seeking to devour someone. So while you are absent minded, you're being caught. She must go and get initiated. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. Let's look for Jesus. Stand up. Okay. You'd feel those physically. Ne? What's your name, by the way? Tuli. Your name is? Tuli. My name is Tuli. God loves you, no? That's all you heard when I said you don't know what to do. Yes, Papa. Often people commit mistakes yeah. that will put them into trouble. Yes, Papa. No? A relationship oh. that you know that that one has caused things to enter me. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yeah. God, still God loves you, don't worry. Yeah. I would say you've been in a bad relationship which you thought it was good. You get it? I said the scripture. The devil is waiting like a ruler and I'm seeking to devour someone. In this case, you enter into a place and yet you're in a spider web waiting for you to not move. Then 
your inner cocoon. You can't move, you can't do anything. A mistake you have committed yes, with a man. Yes, a mistake. And when it's spread away, I, I don't know if somebody gets this spiritually. A man comes, hold your breast. <gasps> huh? Huh? That's what he started with. That's why I'm saying, no matter the mistakes committed, God is taking it out of the mistake. Stand up. God loves you. God loves you. You found yourself entangled. And even though, what happened with the relationship? Where's the man now? I broke up, Papa. He's the father of my child. Where is he now? He stays in Devon. Huh? He stays in Devon. <laughs> oh. Don't play oh. with spiritual matters. Oh. Uh, he still communicate with you? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes. What, what, what is that communication based on? Uh. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What is communication based on? Uh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. uh. She fell into a trap. She fell into a, a trap. What is your communication based on now? Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Papa. He stays with my son. So, when I call the child, I call the child. And then he tells me that he, 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 uh, oh, oh, he, he, when am I coming? He, he wants me back. He, he stays with my son, so whenever I would call them, trying to check on their son, the baby daddy will answer the call and say that, when am I coming to Devon? And he wants to get back with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. fell into yeah. a trap. That's what I'm saying. A spider. You must get it. No? A spider waits for you to go on the web. And after that, it goes. It puts you inside. And in life, that's why you hate me saying she doesn't know what to, what to do. That's why I'm saying the devil is waiting like a roaring lion seeking to devour someone. So what are we saying about this relationship because he's the father of the child? What is going to happen? Let's hear God's wisdom based on this. Because it's not correct. It's spiritual. She's entangled now. Spider web. She's entangled. Look, how did it start? Your breast. Huh? Huh? How did it start? What is it doing your breast? Huh? Papa. Huh? Yes, Father. What did you do with your breast? No, no, no. no. Let's, let's look at it nicely now. Look. I'm going to put it rough now so that everybody can get it because you fall into what is wrong. You know about God who is on top of you. How did you agree? Now let me put it rough because now God sets her free now. She started with what? With what? Doing what? Doing what? Doing what? Doing what? That's how he started the spiritually entangling her. Entangling her. Sometimes people don't know the root problem. You get it, ne? But let's reveal the root problem. She fell into a trap of a relationship. That's why she feels spider webs. She feels them on the face. Yes, huh? Is you feel them on the face, ne? Mm. But he started with what? Uh, with what? Mm. That's how he started when he met with you. And what did he do? 
breast. Holding them and doing what with this? But now, where are we coming from? Is he a believer? Where are we coming from? Is he a believer? Where are we coming from? Is he a believer? Where are we coming from? Is he a believer? Who did you meet? You fell into a trap of a spider. And now you can't be released. You never ask yourself a question. You never ask yourself a question. When was it? Oh, it, it started last year. Last year, Papa. Last year. Is he a believer? Year, no, he's not a believer. Hence, I say people commit mistakes. People commit mistakes. But anyway, God is taking out of the mistakes he's fallen into. You knew God. Amen, but Papa. you met with this man. And the spider caught you. You knew God. Yeah. You knew God. How long were you born again? Yeah, since 2013. When did you meet the man? When did you meet the man? Last year. Is he a believer? No. They will deal with you. Once after he's on top of you, you are caught. You're not. Now we are interpreting spiritually how they met sexually. That's when the spider caught her. That's when she was entangled. Now you started feeling spider webs on your face. Yes, Papa. Now what happened? Let's hear this. If you are of Christ, you get it? If you are of Christ, whatever that puzzles you, step Step backward. I can't. And now, now you're caught with the issue of a baby. Um, did you know about the witchcraft in this family? You know nothing. You don't know. Shame. Shame. Issues of love. Issues of just being desperate and just welcoming whatever. You get it now, eh? He's, He's not a believer. Yes. He's not a believer. He's not. And now you're, you're caught by the spirit now. Huh? Huh? Yes, Papa. This is a trap of false love. Now I want to help you to come out of it. Amen, Papa. So that's why I'm saying God will give us wisdom on how to deal with this issue because they've got a child. They've got a child, and now she suffers with the mind. She forgets. You see, prophecy came. Suffering with the mind, forgetfulness. But uh, you will know, each and every case is unique from these people. It has got its origin. This origin, I'll put it to sexual encounter. Yes, Papa. Sexual encounter. That's true, Papa. Which has caused you to be arrested. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The devil is waiting like a lion, roaring lion, seeking to devour someone. In this case, when you go into the spider web, you've entered confusion. You don't know what to do. She has entered what? Confusion. She has entered what? Confusion. Not everybody who meets with you come pure. <laughs> Or come as the body that is pure. You get it? They don't come as the body that is pure. Some are being initiated to deal with a woman. You will never leave me. You will never go anywhere. Because now the spider has done what? You are now being entangled. Please, follow Christ. Ask Jesus Christ for forgiveness. Because you have entered into trouble now. You have entered into trouble. Huh? Yes, Papa. You don't know what to do. And please, 
this part I'm not going to touch it much, ne? Ne? But stop admiring on social media, ne? Yes, Papa. Because it's trouble as well. Yes, Papa. You admire on social media. Huh? Yes, Papa. And it takes you deep when you admire on social media. Please leave social media. Amen, Papa. Because you admire there. And you know what it makes you in the body. Huh? Amen, Papa. Huh? You watch on social media, please. Amen, Papa. Get away from there. Put it aside. I won't go to help you now, no? Amen, Papa. But now, what, what is your thinking when you're invited? Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm double-minded, Papa. <laughs> That's why I say you don't know what to. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to? Because he's the father of the... But now, it should not be bewitched. It should not be bewitched. She's been bewitched. There's a pain that comes like this. You hear I'm touching you, ne? Yes, but... It goes like this. And your dreams, it's nightmares. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Papa, you just dream oh. nightmares. Yeah. Oh. Huh? It's like it's over with me. Like, huh? It's like it's over with me. <gasps> the time saying she doesn't know what to do. She fell into a trap of relationship. And this involves witchcraft now. This now involves what? Witchcraft. Now everybody look at her when she comes. She came to church, you look at her, you never thought this. No, it's trouble. It's trouble. And that's why you hate now. She's manifesting, but also I'm talking about fingering. But now for her, she has to go deep into this initiation of this, where you come from. You have to go deep there. Are you willing to go there? You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do now. That's what I'm saying. We have to ask God for wisdom on what to do because they already got a child, but she went to a person when she knows that this person is not even born again, it's not a believer. She went thinking that all, all of a sudden, the child now, the child is there. It's a child in this in the picture, and you don't know what to do. Yes, Papa. Um, we were in a relationship long ago, and when I got born again, Salara Kawana. And now? So, last year. Again. Yes, Papa. But the child was in the picture. No. Huh? Yeah. But now, is he a believer? No. That doesn't mean if you're born mm -hmm. again and you had a relationship with a person in the past, as long as they are not believers. Now, when you get born again, you are a new creature. Why do you go for an old creature? That's what I'm saying. God will give us wisdom. But now, were you attacked this way before? Last year you met with him. And this happened. Huh? You leave her. You go completely now. Because she has to be initiated. She has to go into this thing. No there are some relationship. If it has to be relationship, it goes with initiation. So that's what I'm saying. Let's ask God for wisdom. To take the person out of her mind. Because now she forgets easily. So God has given us power enough to take us out. Now, let's ask a question. What made you to go back? <sighs> what made you to go back? <clears throat> Come back. What made you to go back? <clears throat> um, sometimes pe people ask me why. I get back to the father of my child. People will ask you, why don't you go back to the father of child? Uh, Did God speak to you? No. 
Huh? No. People say, why don't you get back? <sighs> now, let's come back to what, what I said. Ne? Tell me if you love him. Yes. What are you doing on social media if you say, if you hate people say, what are you doing on social media? Do you love him? <sighs> huh? <sighs> huh? <sighs> now, let's, let's talk about it. <sighs> let's say she claims that she loves him. What is she doing on social media? Why don't you look on one person, but you're busy on social media? You who stole from her, you live. Take out. We destroyed this spiritual marriage. We destroyed this spiritual marriage. We destroyed it. We destroyed this spiritual marriage. We remove the spiritual marriage, we remove the ring, we remove the spiritual ring, we take it out. We remove the spiritual ring. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take out! Take out! Take out! We remove the spiritual rings. Take everything, take everything. All your rings, not just one. All your rings, not just one, all of them. Take them out! All of them. All of the rings. All of the rings. This is serious entanglement. It's not just one ring. Take everything out! Not that she couldn't get a person. But you see when you listen to people, why don't you go back to the father or child? And especially some people who think they're born again, go back to the father of your child. They will make you fall into it. Why that conversation with you, first of all? Is your private life their life? Your private life is between you and God, not between you and men. That's why what God joins together, not what men. Yes, what God joins together, not what men joins together. So, if man says, why don't you go back to your... Now she's being entangled. Can you interpret what was happening here? It was the moment they were busy. And that's why I'm thinking that's how they started. And she went back. Now she got attacked. Take everything and go. Take everything and go. Take everything and go. Take everything now. All, the, all your properties and go. And that's why I'm saying we do commit mistakes. You must get it from there. If you ask God for wisdom, why did I say mistake? So it has to be corrected. She made a blunder. Which he has to get out of. Because if we speak like people who say go back, we're saying near back to the web. We are saying you go back to the... So I'm not going to meet myself before God and speak like men. She'll be in trouble again. Take everything and go. But she's been going, going around with witchcraft. You live completely. You get out. Take everything out. Because if you say you have somebody and you don't know what to do, you think of him, what are you doing on social media? Who are you watching? Why do you see this, that, that? You don't know what to do. Confusion. Take, 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 everything. Take everything. Because he has to join their tradition. If she goes with them, she has to join the tradition. So am I here to deposit to God or to worldly things? So I deposit to God. I choose to deposit to God. I choose to deposit you to, to God. You go completely. 
Because one would think it's the same as the man when I said spider web. Uh-uh, it's a different story here. Yeah, it's an issue of a relationship falling into a trap of a bad relationship. So, this goes back to John 1, which you spoke about. In Christ, there's this life. And that life has become the light of men. And darkness has never overpowered the light. So what do you choose now? So what must we do for him? We can't go against what we're preaching. So you take it back to darkness to overpower her. Darkness overpowered her already. She was born again. Now she went back. Finish, Mother Ruth. Finish. Finish. I believe we're learning something from this, ne? And that's why I would like to go back to the main cause of the problem so that everybody after this can know that this I don't have to commit myself in doing it. This I'm running away from this. It can be the cause of my problem. So that when Jesus has blessed you, nothing can steal your blessing. <laughs> you live it. She was not like this. She was not like this. Now a trap of what? Of a relationship. Now you're happy because they they touch you. You're happy and you go. They're busy now entangling you. Entangling you. It's better way of holding the whole body. But you remove it. In Jesus' name. I mean some people when they went through this she meets another man. Another man can. Yes, because the other man enters the spider web of another. So it's waiting, it's going to catch that person. So she can put another man into trouble. Learn spiritual things now. Learn spiritual things. Learn spiritual things. So she has to be free from this. Now you go. You hug where another man is already. He's coming. And you as well. Because it's the whole thing. Take all of your properties and go. Take all of your properties. And the, the, the silly thing, you go to her because you saw her in church. You saw her going to church. But that one has done his work already. And if you become weak as a man, it's over. Take everything and go. Take everything and go. And if you're delivered, please don't go back because you carry more than what you had before. You carry more than what you? Because this is what happened. It's a repeat. Going back, now it becomes worse. That's why I call it a mistake. But God is able to take us out of those mistakes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you take all of your things and wrap her and repair and you go so that's why we say Jesus I mean said nothing that is hidden will be left without being exposed because this thing deceives you feel spider webs you really know where it comes from but today she knows now she knows where it started But we also pray for the son, for the son to be free. We pray that this witchcraft must not prosper. So much you must see her freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that's what I advise many Christians. 
Don't come and look for laying on of hand for deliverance, for prophecy, yet going back to where you're not supposed to go. He says, it will come back seven times and the present condition of the man shall be worse than before. Now you separate with the man, you go back. You're born again, now you go back. So if it's worse, you become surprised. Why is it worse? You went back. But Jesus Christ, so rich in mercy, which is the mercy of God upon him. Which is the grace of God upon him. So sometimes consider yourself blessed when you decide to go to church. You ran to Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he's there to show his mercy. I mean, some of the things are surprised. We preach, all of a sudden, we go that way. And yet you're going to find it right there. It's not that way. It's right here. It's not far away. You go and you take your poison. You're never going to feed it with this anymore. So in other words, when you finish this, that witchcraft will never operate anymore. My sin of Jesus Christ. Get out! Finish by the roots. We pull it out of a system. We pull it out of a system. I believe after this deliverance, no one will just go where they're not supposed to go. No? <laughs> will you go? Will you? <laughs> For the past, since last month, have you seen deeper things? Have you seen deeper things? Never think that you can hide. And you might think that I'm not going to church because this secret will be revealed. You're going to come without your awareness. Yes, I mean, we've seen it. Eh? Am I right? We've seen it. But that's what I'm saying. It's a mistake. But the way I respect God, he takes people out of deeper things that we're not aware of. If the devil is waiting like a rolling alone, seeking to devour someone, you have to be absent-minded. When you've forgotten yourself, now when you say, nobody sees me, he got you. In Jesus' name. But the Lord God of glory continues to love us no matter what. He continues to love us. Tell a neighbor, say, God continues to love us. Say, God continues to love us. God continues to love us. His love is greater than our faults. His love is greater than our mistakes. His love covers multitude of sins. So this is one of the sins that is included there. So if it was 12, he removes them. But now if you go back, it's 12 times. You see how many there will be? If there were 12, you get born again, they go. You go back 12 times? Times? Seven. It becomes 12 times? So how many there are now? <coughs> Never joke with sin. Never joke with such kind of trouble. So there must be difference between us and the world, ne? Amen. Stand up. Stand up. Hold this, ne? God loves you, ne? God loves you. Drink now. Drink.
Yeah, let her drink everything. And the issue of a gun is not a loving matter. That's what I want to discuss with her. That's what I want to discuss. The wish of a gun is not a loving or a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. That's the issue what of it? Of a gun. Gun, not a loving matter. You're not bound. You'll never do anything to it anymore. You're not bound. You're not bound. Stand up. Stand up. If patience is there, it's one of the. You get it, ne? Yeah. So, look here, ne? Now that we are here, we went up to this far, ne? What do we think now? Hmm? What do you think? Yeah, Papa. Hmm? I will never. Please speak louder. I will never disregard the Holy Spirit. You will never disregard the Holy Spirit. Oh. Now, issue of gun threat. What's happening with that issue? About the gun issue, Papa. Oh. They nearly shot my, my little brother. Hmm. Um... We were attacked by, by thieves at home. At home, ne? Yes. The gun, ne? Yes. Like mm. They shot, but it missed him. It missed him? Yes, because he was fighting with the person who was He was armed. fighting with the person. Yes. You were there, ne? Yes. Yeah. Let's pray for that. That's what I'm saying. Let's talk about the gun issue now. Let's talk about the gun issue. And Jesus knows everything. Jesus knows everything. So... That's what I'm saying. Let's talk about the gun issue because it has left even fear. Ne? Yeah, a lot of fear. A lot of fear. Oh, ne? Yes, Wherever you go, yeah. you're scared. Ne? Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Let's talk about the gun issue because it really troubled you. And that's the moment where you think, where you thought everybody's dead. So let's talk about that. That's what I'm saying. The next issue is the gun. Jesus knows everything. That's why I say, I'd rather be patient when I see that the problem is serious for the person. That's why I'm saying 12 times 7, it's more. Let's help her. So we pray for the gun issue. So we command this fear to leave you. Fear leaves. We command this evil to leave the house. Fear depart. Fear goes. All evil departs. No gun shall come upon them. No one will die. No one will? Will die. Of course, some of the things when you go to get into the vicinity of sin, we live under threat. Do you understand this? No? Just get into the vicinity of sin, we live under threat. So if God removes this sin, what weapon will form what weapon formed against her will prosper? What weapon will form? Uh, what weapon formed against her will prosper? Any weapon formed against her shall never prosper. Be free from death. Be free from death. I mean, what weapon will be formed against her will succeed? No. Death goes. So we close the mouth of every can. So when you are in the vicinity of sin, there's threat. Anything can happen to you. Are we clear? Weapon from the against to shall prosper. 
But in this case, it's over. No weapon from the against her. Shall? Shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed. Prosperous. In Jesus' name. So anyone even in the vicinity of sin, repent. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Repent before it's too. It's too late. So, ask Jesus Christ for forgiveness. Ask him to forgive you. Because the vicinity of sin, it's a vicinity where you are in danger. What's your name? Truly. Tell Jesus Christ, say, I truly. I truly. Come before you, Lord. Come before you, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. For one, one leg is on your side. For one leg is on your side. The other is on the devil's side. The other is on the devil's side. Snatch me, Lord. Snatch me, Lord. Take me out of sin. Take me out of sin. Snatch me out of this Snatch fire that destroys me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. God loves you. Now I'll take you through, ne? Amen. I'll take you through, ne? You'll come. One on one, I'll see you. Just to help you out completely. Because it's dangerous, this thing. That's why I start by saying, we'll ask God for wisdom on how to do with this relationship. Because it's a bad one. You've been bewitched, but let's thank God for setting you free, ne? Amen, Papa. So Jesus Christ has forgiven you. How do you feel the pains on the body? How are the pains? How are the pains now? I feel okay, Papa. You feel okay now? Yes. You feel okay? God loves you. Be covered. Be restored. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. Go give your testimony. God loves you. viewers all over the world welcome again to rtv where fulfillment is captured uh, we are in our live services dated the 16th of august 2024 with me i'm with my sister our sister manifested on the prophecy of our father says sometimes uh, uh, sometimes you will feel that something has interfered with your mind and you forget easily and our father also emphasized when you are speaking to our sister that you will feel you will feel like you have spider webs around your head so our sister, can you please confirm the prophecy to be true and introduce yourself who you are and where you come from? Um, greetings, uh, viewers. My name is Tuli Sile. I'm from Mabupani, and I confirm uh, the prophecy to be true. So, uh, our Tuli Sile, can you please explain to us when this this started? Um, this thing started um last year as a result of fornication. Uh, what was happening that time? Um, I reconciled uh, with the father of my child. Um, and then everything led to to fornication. And then that's when I, I started uh, experiencing uh, mind attacks. The, uh, the first attack I realized was the one of the mind, mind block. Uh, my mind wasn't functioning well. And I get I got to notice this when we were playing a game. When we were playing a, a, a Monopoly game, and that's when I realized that uh, my mind is just not functioning well. And how how was your relationship with the father of your child? Um, before I got born again, uh, the relationship was not quite good which led to some depression and um, we ended up breaking up and then by the time um, I got born again. So um, I focused my life on Christ and I lived Christ. So uh, our relationship, um, after we reconciled, oh, 
I wouldn't say it was, it seemed okay. Yes, it seemed okay at first. So how did you come to a point of reconciling with the father of your child? What led you to reconcile since you explained to us that uh, you, you, you will also have depression and the relationship was not good. So how did you come to a point that you must reconcile with him? Um, what led to, 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 to the reconciliation was um, the issue of um, family members telling me why don't I get back with the father of my child? Some would tell me, look at him, he doesn't have a child. This guy will marry you, he still loves you. That's why he doesn't have another child elsewhere. So I guess those those um, talks, I planted a seed in me. Okay. Uh, so in regards to the 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 way you say you would feel uh, like spider webs or our father will say to you, you will feel like spider webs inside your head. So can you explain to us uh, how, how were you feeling in regards to those spider webs that you were feeling in your head and what was happening and how did that, uh, that uh, relationship affected your mind and also your prayer life? Um, I would feel movements around my face, my head, but mostly on my face. And um, my mind wasn't functioning well. Yes, I would forget. Like I was very forgetful. Um, I couldn't, um, I couldn't read the word. Um, my, my spiritual life was badly affected my prayer life everything like i was no longer myself that's why i told papa that i felt like it was the end of me because I, I just wasn't wasn't functioning spiritual okay in terms of your your dreams and visions can you please explain to us how were your dreams and visions uh, affected I, oh, I had bad dreams. I would have bad dreams and sometimes like I don't I wouldn't even remember what I dreamt of. I'll just wake up and like I wouldn't tell you what I dreamt of. Yes. Uh in 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 case of uh, fornication in case of fornication uh, and also the spirit of fornication entering you, how did it happen? Can you please uh, make us to remember how did it come to a point where they now you realize that now I have a spirit of fornication? How did it happen? Um, as Papa uh, mentioned that um, he touched my my breast. Yes, uh, that is true. He, he touched my breast and it led to an other stuff. Okay. Okay. So what can you tell us? What have you learned? Like, what have you learned? As you can share with the viewers out there, what have you learned in all this uh, situation that was happening in your life? Oh, I've learned oh, not to joke, not to joke with the Holy Spirit. I've learned not to disregard, disregard the Holy Spirit. Okay. So... So in addition, in addition, what can you say to the viewers out there who are watching? What advice can you give to them? Um, to the viewers out there, um, I'd say that they should always keep the word and they should never um, undermine um, their conscience when, when it speaks to them or when it warns them about something. And they should never again uh, disregard uh, the words of Papa because he speaks from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So what can you say to Papa as uh, he, he's watching there? Oh, I'd like to say to Papa, um, thank you um, for listening to the Holy Spirit. Thank you uh, for showing forth uh, the fruit. Thank you for the patience. 
Okay, thank you so much. So, so how is your mind now? How is your mind and how do you feel in regards to those uh, spider webs you used to feel and also the pain that you used to feel and also your pains, the movings on your womb? Yo, my, my head feels light now because you know, my head was always heavy. So it feels light now. Um, the movements are no longer there and the pains are no longer there. Like I feel that there's a huge difference on my body. In terms of uh, you being initiated, is there any something that you can share with us? Because of the demon was speaking, saying you're supposed to be initiated. Is there anything that you can recall on that before we close? Um, I'll say that um, the father of my child, um, the, 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 from his father's side, like there's a lot of um, ancestral worship. So now I recall when Papa mentioned that uh, this witchcraft in the family, um, I realized that I recall that uh, from the father's side, there's a lot of ancestral worship. In regards to uh, you telling Papa about the issue, because Papa spoke about taking the issue of the gun seriously, can you please just share a little bit with us and explain what exactly Papa was talking about? Uh, the issue of a gun, um, we were attack attacked by robbers at home, um, which led to, 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 to um, a shooting. Um, the gun was aimed at my little brother, but fortunately uh, the, the bullet uh, missed him. So that thing um, really affected us bad. It led to fear. We were tormented by fear as a family. Thank you so much. So viewers all over the world, I, I think most of you who are watching this interview, you believe that this uh, story of our sister is telling us more about the teaching of Papa when he used to teach about uh, the pollution of the mind in regards to the family giving her a, a, a borrowed mind to say go back to your uh, father of your child and reconcile things only to know that our sister will be experiencing the spirit of fornication and everything that was going on uh, on his life during those times so we like to say viewers we thank you so much for watching this wonderful interview and to me and all who are watching out there we saying to god be the glory stay blessed who's next in this case <laughs> who's next Who's next? Let's look unto Jesus and be in a safe vicinity. The vicinity of his presence. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. There's no fear. There's liberty. Are we clear? So let's thank God. Somebody might be in the same situation. It's a bad one. You feel spare webs on them? No. Now you're caught. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Any man, the next man, would find it in that situation. Also, he's in trouble. Also, he's in, he's in trouble. Because remember, the spider just stays far. It makes a web and it stays far. Anyone who comes there, it runs. And some, it wraps you, it leaves you there, it goes. It still waits. Anyone who comes, it. This is the case now. This is the case. And let's thank God for setting you free and a family from the issue of a gun because it's death that one. It's death. I will be patient even if God says wait with her until the next morning or the next day. Do you get this? I will be patient. Because of what? If we don't have patience, who will be free? Who will be free? Do we love Jesus Christ? Love, joy, peace.
Then what's next? Number two? Patience. Patience. You'll call it perseverance. Again. You'll call it long suffering. You'll call it long suffering. After that, it's your, your own conduct with each other. You get it? So I believe somebody learned something from this. Ne? If you become born again and you're in, uh, in relationship which was, not, which was toxic, now you're born again. God released you from 12. You get it? Now you go back. When you go back, it says, it takes with it seven other which are worse than. You get it, no? Which, you get it, no? It takes with it seven other spirits which is worse than. You get it, no? And it goes and it stays in that person. It says the present condition of that person will be worse than before. And you must get when I said nightmares. When I said she's going through nightmares, yo, it's bad. It's a rape. It's this while she's sleeping. But God is wonderful. What can we say about Jesus? <laughs> Tell anybody say spiritual matters. Spiritual matters. I spiritually descend. Are we clear? Let God lead you in the spirit. If he says to you, go and wash in the pool of Shilom, it's not over yet. You have your journey to the pool of Shilom. It's not over yet. You have your journey where? To your synagogue. It's not over yet. Until they keep you out. How long did it take? He's not free yet. Until Jesus meets with him again. And then do you know him? Who is he? I've come to open the eyes of those who cannot see and to blind those who claim to see. So it took time. It didn't stop there. You get it, no? John chapter 5. It took time. The pool of Shulam, it was not complete. It was not complete. Jesus said, pick up your mat and go. When you, when you stood up, it was not... Mm -mm. You'll read it from verse 13. What is it for his name? Jesus said to him, now again, you're well again. Now you're well? Then he said, sin no more, lest worse things will come to you. So some of the things will require our patience until the matter is done. So what is left for her is to remain faithful, stop social media, Stop this funny communication. The issue, that's why I'm calling it just to guide her in terms of the child issue. So that she can be covered. Because some of people fell into trouble because of child issue. Are we clear? Does it mean if you have a child, you're going to be married? Mm -mm. It's not always the case. It's not always there, the case. So if this does not happen, how would they approach God? 